Hello, Mrs. Zones here. Today, I want to talk to you about this new litter I've been using that I ordered from Amazon. And it's this going here. This is an empty box of it. Um, and I want to show you how I clean it. Now, this is what it looked like. These are little wood pine pellets. They last a lot longer. And what happens is, oh, you're going to hear the kittens. I'm sorry. Um, what happens is, like, the, the cat's urine, it turns into this sawdust. As you can see here, so I'm about to clean that out with the waste and change it. And the good thing about this is all you need is a little bit. There's no dust. Um, because with the uh, Hydrotex, Hydrotex is usually dusting. And with the amount of cats we have now, we have to get this every week but with this this lasts for a long time i'm on my second box now you know i had to get to the the, uh, the hand of learning how to use it and clean it out but this works it lasts a long long time you need a bag with this scoop this is a sifting um litter box here so i use this for the cats i got in bigger kennel so all i have to do with this it's three. You got the sifter and then you got the second hairy pan. And I forgot. Okay. I got my bottle with it. Baking soda. You can put bleach, use bleach water. This is baking soda and some tissue oil and a little rag. So, to wipe this. So, with the sifter pan, just dump it. And this is flushable. So, if you scoop out the poop and get some, get some going in the toilet, it's okay. I won't suggest just dumping this whole thing in the toilet, put it in the garbage. But if you scoop out the poop, I'm just saying, and some getting the poop, it's okay. It's safe for the toilet. And then, just sift it out. I'm using this garbage bag here so I don't mess up my floor too much. And it's so easy to clean up. It's very it's easier than um, the regular cat litter. Even though Tidy Cats say it's not a clay, it's not really a clay. Oh, it is clay, but you know it says no clumpy. It's very messy and dirty, like dusty. Like the dust get all over the place. And me and my husband, we have like allergies. And he got asthma, and I got bronchitis, so I ain't got time for that. <laughs> so, I'm just using a scoop of the scoop of the moon. Oh, you can shake it. But it is, it is a lot. If you have one cat, it's a breeze with this one cat. I know Tiger Little Box is still good. <laughs> if you have one cat, this will last a long, long time. It's more healthier too, not just for cats, but everybody in the house. It'll breathe a lot easier. That's about all of it. So that means they use, sometimes it'd be some pine pellets that's left in there. And I usually just sift it and put it to the side and sift and use it. But these girls, they seem to have used it all. So what I gotta do is just I have to dump this in the toilet. Um, which I think I'm gonna do and I'll come right back. Uh, let me just go ahead and dump this one too. This is the second little box that I use for the boy for Thumbler. He's in the kennel by himself. Okay. okay, babies. I'll, I'll tell to you when I'm done, okay? See, I made a mess. That's why I put the arm. Um, and it just goes down. As you can see, there are some pellets left from the second one. If I want pick that out and use that but this is just a few i'm just going to toss it for the purpose of this video <laughs> thanks for seeing this cool and i can just dump this in the toilet or just whatever this is tiger's litter it's not really hard enough and that's why i say um um this lasts a long time for my cat but i'm gonna show you another way how i'm gonna set this out since there's no poop in here and i'll be right back i'm gonna dump that in okay dump it in the toilet See, huh? what I'm gonna do? 
to take this. Now there's some pine in here. So what I can do, you don't mind the extra work. Take it and sift the this sawdust and collect the pine. I do that sometimes, you know. The pine is very valuable. The more you can scoop up the save, the better. The more the new the new one you have to, the less of the new one you have to use now save. And as you can see, it's dry. It's been a week since I um, changed this whole entire thing. Now, I sifted out some of the stuff a few days ago. See, there's some pine. I can put it on the side if I want. Right now, clean this out very easy to clean. Square. Don't wipe it down. And I also put some lavender oil in it, so. Shake it, make a fall to the bottom. Okay, let's take the same thing and wipe the dust down. Put this aside. This is very easy to clean, guys. This will make your life a whole lot easier, especially if you have multiple cats. People are switching to the pine pellets. And is it expensive? You get a bag of pine pellets about between five dollars to well that box right there i got like nine dollars from um amazon free shipping with prime we got two boxes of that and i'm gonna order two more boxes this week sometimes pine get stuck in between it just like break it out that's all don't be afraid to get your hands that you can't go hurt <laughs> just spray this And if you want, what I did before, I can use the second tray as an extra litter box. Okay. <laughs> I'm not editing that out either. So, I'm going to dump this. Okay, the bag. Yeah, here. It's very lightly. Pointing back very nicely, very easily. It's not clumpy. It's not dusty like regular cat litter. Okay. And I'm stacking that together. I'm going to put new clay. Just fill it up to about an inch. And what's going to happen is this little bit here is going to turn into sawdust like you can see. Oh, put these clips together. Okay. Cut it off. But. Just cover enough to cover the bottom or at least one inch deep because what's going to happen is when it turns to that sawdust, it's going to swell. It's going to swell like this. It's going to puff up. So you don't need a lot. And that's it. I'm done. Now here's a second way how I clean it out. This is Tiger Little Box. So I'm going to use this as garbage. See, this is the rest of the sawdust. Very easy to clean out. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this, move this to one side like that. I'm going to shift all this to one side. That's the sawdust and the pellets together. And I'm going to scoop. You scoop it. You guys need to see this. I'm going to put it in this bag. And I'm going to sift it inside the bag. See, it's going inside the bag. If there's any poop or anything in here, I'll just poke it and put it in the, in the bag. See, this is a good pellet, so that's what we use. I'm just going to put that on the side here. 
See that? Just put that on the side there. And I'm going to repeat the same process. It takes a little bit more work with this, but it's worth it. There's no smell. It doesn't smell like it's cats in here. You don't smell no cat urine, none of that stuff. It smells like pine trees. It smells like pine trees in here. I'll put that in there. Start. And then I'm just going to keep keeping the process. It's very easy. Even when you get the uh, the sawdust on your own floor, don't worry about it. It's very easy to sweep up or vacuum up. This is like 500 times drier than regular kitty litter. It keeps them nice and dry and healthy. Happy. Now here, I smell a little bit of this pee because he's the only one that's using this litter box. It's not, I don't have to clean it too frequently. I just have to get rid of his waste and that's pretty much it. <clears throat> so, it takes a while for the smell to come up, but it's not even strong. You know what I mean? It's okay if it's a little bit of sawdust that's left in there. Okay. What I see some people do, that's it, is you clean one half of it. You gotta clean one half. A lot of them. And then I'll slip it over on this side. clean the other half. Very easy to do. And I'm going to put a little bit more pine in here. The first pine of it. And that's it. I'm done. You can take this. Some people use this for the, the compost or garden. Um, I'm just going to throw this away. That's it. It's that simple, that easy. Um, don't have to clean as often as regular pine. Um, I mean, regular kit cat litter. You just scoop the um the solid waste out daily, and that's basically it. And when it's, when it's a lot of sawdust in there, like as you see before, that's when I usually clean it out. Okay, well, that's it for right now, and see you next see you in the next video. Bye.